Hong Kong has found these two pro-democracy journalists guilty of sedition or rebelling against the government. The two journalists, Patrick Lam and Tong Poit Kun, were former editors-in-chief of the now-defunct Stan News, one of Hong Kong's last pro-democracy media outlets. Following the mass pro-democracy protests in 2019, Stan News had remained as one of the last outlets that openly criticized the Hong Kong government. But Stan News shut in December 2021 after more than 200 police raided its offices and arrested Lam, Tun, and five other staff members. Authorities said the outlet had published inflammatory content aimed at inciting hatred towards the government. On August 29th, a court in Hong Kong found Lam and Tun guilty of conspiring to publish seditious materials. The judge said that some of Stan News articles had promoted illegal ideologies and smeared the national security law and security officers, becoming a tool for smearing the Chinese and Hong Kong governments during the protests in 2019. This is the first time that journalists in Hong Kong have been tried for sedition since 1997, when Hong Kong, a former British colony, was handed back to China under the one country, two systems policy. The policy stated that Hong Kong would retain its own government, independent courts, press, and economic systems for at least 50 years after reunification. Rights groups have condemned the latest verdict as an attack on press freedom as the journalists were simply doing their jobs. Lam and Tun will be sentenced in September and face up to two years in prison and a fine of 5,000 Hong Kong dollars or about 640 US dollars. Follow for more stories from around the world.